Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today, I've just returned from the Hive Mining Facility, and I've got some resources, and I've been thinking today about how to actually produce and start mass manufacturing weapons, supplies, and equipment that you would need for any sort of mass civilization. So I've built this basic factory complex. Everything is kind of for a reason, except the chimneys, but that just makes it look cool. So let's just say we've arrived here, We've arrived with our ship, with the ore on, and like all big ships that would arrive, you need to start unloading your actual ore. So let's get our ore blocks. There we go. There is two. And we would dump them in here in these funnels that would take us down to the first level of production in the facility. So let's actually do that now. Now it's important when we're dumping these is that we don't dump them being too heavy because if they're too heavy, we might just cause some serious damage so let's split that in half eight eh? so let's split that in two call it confirm right so we've split it not in half but it's close enough um, and there we go and then we just drag to drop one and then we drag to drop two and there we go right so once the actual supplies have arrived just imagine a massive ship dropping a load of ore into our little refinement area. You come down here, and then the ore is actually sorted. So the ore would be sorted by the honey badgers here into the correct piles, and then sent down as it is needed. So we'll do the next stage. So we've got the honey badger, one of my favorite little vehicles to collect ore with, and not do anything with, to be honest. So we move that up there, we collect the ore, and we bring it back into position. So as you can see, gravity takes a lot of effect on these actual ore and all the different items that are affected by gravity itself so we need to be very careful when handling it so we'll move the honey badger into position up here like so just gotta be careful and there we go and then what we do is we let the ore go into the next area of refinement so the ore basically just rolls down there into the next area of refinement the honey badger continues on sorting with its day job and so on so the ore is down here, and then we get the factory workers who work on the stage one, that is refinement. So they collect their ore up here, so we're going to take our magnesium ore. We're going to take it over to our actual production bay. We'll stick it in here. So magnesium ore, there we go. And then basically what you'll notice is the lights actually start flashing on and off. This is really strange because when they, I've never seen this before in the reactor, but not just that starts flashing on and off but the gravity starts flashing on and off as well. So that means we've possibly not got enough power, but watch this. I'm gonna stick in a power generator to try to actually account for it. So that's five. Uh, let's just whack that there for the moment. So yeah, that, that, was, that little power spike must have been caused because we were using too much power. So these refineries must need a lot of power to actually operate. So we've got our magnesium there, and now we're gonna bring it down in, back to our inventory. So we can do two things now. We can either send it down there for direct packaging and sending off. I'll just take you down here. So if you send it down here, you'd send it to the hangar where basically you'd have your ships awaiting. Obviously, not, not really everything's complete yet, but the ships would be waiting and they would send it off to whoever needs that raw ore itself. So then the other way it can actually happen is you can actually put it on here. So say, for instance, You've, you want to produce something else, you want to send this to another part of the factory. So you actually drop your magnesium ore or whatever you want to do actually in there. So drop it on there. Let's say as well we wanted to send some K and some a AU as well. Like so. So there we go, we've got some different bits. And then you'd go, right, you're ready for the shipment. Talk to the guy downstairs. Drop your stuff in. There it goes. Goes to the next area. So let's break the rules a bit, jump down here if we can. And you can see it just rolling down there, but I'm just gonna delete this block and the door just to show you where it goes. So basically all your gear that you've actually sent down here rolls down here into the actual sorting office. The sorting office here will be just, each container will have its own little item in, and then it'll either be sent to different areas of the factory. So I've not built every area of the factory connecting this room yet, but this first area is being connected at the moment as we speak and basically what we're doing is we're going to have a conveyor belt on this item here coming through here so all the operators will have to do is stick it on the conveyor belt it'll bring it through 
drop it into here and then the factory area begins so we there's already some work been done obviously everyone's off today because i've let everyone have a holiday um, and then we've got um, some different weapons that people have just left on the side from when they finished the last production some ammunition there and then we've got some storage here so this storage now is awaiting the next stage okay the next stage is either it's being used internally and it'll be equipped with the fighters so basically what we'll have is we'll have some operators take it through here and we'll be bringing it to this very important part of the facility once again at the hangar area so if we go upstairs open this door up we are back in the hangar area where we can basically load up all the rockets we need into our fighter stations or even send them off to one of the other pet parts of our empire in the galaxy so we've got another storage room there and i'll just take you around the facility and tell you a bit about it so this area here is still under construction this is basically say you're coming to visit the factory or you're looking for a job and you come in here and you have some offices behind there to sort that out this upper factory is for metal and basic metal production so you do your metals your armors and so on this lower one, obviously, we've just been in there now. That was actually the armory and so on, the actual place to build your weapons, equipment, and ammunition. And over here is specialized items like radios, antennas, and different things that require either a lot of heavy material or special sort of combinations. So you can have anything between four and five workers in each one of these, and then obviously they need workers in this part. But it could be a very interesting concept, and I mean, I'd love you guys to try to work in this factory and just see how epic we would be i mean imagine just a massive transport ship coming in obviously mass more bigger than this it, dropping the ore off and continuing and then the mining station combining the mining station with this and then combining this supplying the front lines and so on but you could also do a ship version of this i guess but i'm going to update this with conveyor belts and some more interesting things and i'll have to show you about that then so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time